Hey, this is for Dwight. I don't think anyone else is going to know what this is. So, Dwight, I don't know how to get this to you, but maybe if I can do it on Facebook, I'm not sure. This is the only way I can get to something that's unclassified right now. Um, remember when we were doing Seattle? This is what it looks like today. I don't want to say exactly what you got going on here, but you'll understand. Zone controllers one and two sitting right there. Now here we got the zone database server. I don't know if you remember the universal, the universal configuration management system is now all into one server here. Remember that was four or five big of the HP boxes. This is all conventional, by the way, Dwight. There's no more Sieves, no more Abes, anything like that. Here you got a zone statistical server, a unified event management, air traffic routers, and system statistical servers. So that takes care of all the things we used to have with the Abes and the MVPs, all that stuff. GPS timing on everything right there. Um, pretty simple. Yeah, it's just for timing for everything. Out of band management on top there, where you're dialing through the whole damn thing they got going on. I'm gonna ride myself here. Here's your core router one, core router twos. We'll be doing it kind of differently. You know, we're doing it using a bunch of Juniper stuff that they don't really use. And then here's uh, these relays and, and stuff here. There's 24 T1s running into each one of these T1 EM ones. They got everything color coded because this is a training system. That's the only reason why I'm able to tape it. I thought you might like to see it. I don't know if you remember the when we used to use RNCs and wings and all that kind of stuff. Now we're using GGSNs, packet data gateways. There's a couple different border routers that take over a bunch of different stuff that we used to have. Down here is the packet data gateways one and two. Over here is uh, basically all the kind of stuff that keeps track of the outside information. I don't want to say what a bunch of it is on here because I'm gonna put this on Facebook so I can get it to you unless because I don't have your direct email address. That is the GTR. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not. Probably haven't. Um, took over the Quantar. That's really not... Almost all of them look the same, but they be programmed for a bunch of different things. This one is a high-performance data. We're actually doing data off the voice channels now. Data's coming over and embedded the signaling, and that's a lot of the OTAR and the processing and stuff's going on through there. That is a rack of GTRs. It looks like it's just six, but it's really just 12 different individual ones there. Um, I don't know if you can see that yeah, these ones are open over here, but on top you got your transceivers and on the bottom you got all your control and your management of it and the power amplifiers and down here you got your power supplies running below it. Everything's separated in different modules now. That's the 800 megahertz one you're looking at there, so obviously our combiners are about twice that size we got going on. Over here is the, the prime site. It looks pretty much the same. Um, what you just seen there is all the master site with only one RF site. This is a prime site that will have these spread all over. That's the new comparator. There's no more ATACs, no more Digitex, that kind of stuff. It looks just like a GTR, but that's actually an IP-based comparator that does the exact same thing, signal noise ratio using... It actually looks at the IMBE levels of it, and it does a comparison across those rather than just doing the signal noise and all that kind of crap like it used to do. Um, I don't get myself in trouble here pretty soon, but... Uh, that's pretty much it is. This is called a DSR in the back. So everything that you're seeing there, we have duplicate copies going in another city. I'm not going to say where. And it's a dynamic system resilience. It's pretty much a complete backup of everything that we have going there. But that's how it all works. I thought you might be curious to see. <laughs> it's been a while since you've been around. So it's all differently different now. Um, this is all based off of what we started building. I know you were involved in it at the beginning, so I thought you'd like to see what the outcome is. All right, buddy. Bye.